with the kids, you know, that Minecraft game where you can um, build anything you want and all that. And I'm like, oh my golly, it's all green. Like there's woods and there's mountains and I love it. I'm like, wouldn't that be great if that was life? Like you could just be like, I want a fresh slate to build on and no clutter in the corner and no little hidden part in my garage. And well, it's as above, as below week. I kid you not. We have Eclipse coming and a new moon, which is all about what are we releasing. So it's time to get busy. It's clean the exterior to match now what you have on the interior. And what are we making room for? Because when we make space, in comes the new. And that's what we're here to talk about. If you are new, welcome to 1111 Tarot. I'm excited for you to be here. I can't wait to share your read with you. And if you're returning, welcome home, my beautiful 1111 Tarot. I will meet you down on the board. I invite you to join me in prayer, but if that is not something you want to do at this time, you can find your timestamps down here pinned in the comments below. All right, my lovely, with that, I'm about to hit this brass bowl three times. I invite you to tune your energy into this frequency and it will allow your energy to clear and focus and that will make the reading a lot deeper and meaningful for you. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Archangels, Ascended Masters, Ancestors for our highest good, please guide us during this direction of transition that we shed the old skin and invite in the new. We wish to expand and to grow. Archangel Michael, thank you for holding my hand as I walk through the tarot that no weapon, spiritual or physical, may manifest or prosper against me. Archangel Raphael, Thank you for the abundant healing within the body, mind, spirit, mental, emotional, and physical. Please continue to heal those that have found this message. All those that are willing to accept the blessing. Archangel Gabrielle, thank you for the abundant blessing of knowledge. Allow us to see what it is that we should release in order to bring in the blessings. Allow us to see clearly what it is that this message is designed for us, for the highest good of our highest path, of all those that find this message. All right, let's get started with your Ruin Stone reading. We have the moon in Aries on the dice roll. We also have an anchor, which to me, if I had to guess, because there's nothing really assigned to the anchor that I could find, um... I always feel that's Taurus energy because that's the anchor of the Zodiac. So it's about this North Node, Taurus, that we're headed to. Obviously, we're in that Taurus season. And then we have the moon in Aries. So that means subconsciously you're reviewing how others see you. Because to me, the Aries energy is an exterior overall view. This is all the intuition that I get. Now, I just want to jump around the board a little bit. As I look at your challenge, you have no challenge. You have Gabo. Now, Gabo is the symbol on the dice, all right? And what this means basically is a very sincere gift. It's a, a, a gift from the universe. It's given freely with no strings attached. It's like you did something and somebody's like, here you go. Um, it's like finding the treasure on the deserted island. X marks a spot. 
I'm feeling sexual too, and I don't know why. And I mean, like, there is a, a yin and a yang here. And I'm feeling a chemistry. It happens to have fallen on Capricorn, which is your 10th house. Your 10th house is about your life path, your life work, what you're doing. So it's a, it's a mate, if you will. Let the yin and the yang commingle. There's a balance coming in. That's incredible because this is like your root foundation is being secured. Like X marks a spot. So with this anchor and X marks a spot, it's like you found, you're finding your niche. You're finding something that works for you. We do have Rivo and it's in the reverse, which is not allowing something to return. Let me show you what this card is. Um, this is the marking on the runestone. And it's drifting apart when it's in the reverse. It's going a different direction. Moving away from your goal. So that had me concerned. And then the secret card. The unknown. <sighs> going away from a hidden gift. You've got, what is this? This has got, we've got to dig in deep here. I'm really pausing on this. You've got this Essa where you're alone. You're pulling your energy. You're getting very focused, determined, cleaning house, making room for the new, not allowing the old to come back because you know a secret. That's what I'm getting. Which now we move into the prosperity of Tawas. And Tawas is all about hunting. Well, here, I keep forgetting to show you. Um, it's all about your self-discipline. Sticking to the straight and narrow path. Tracking your goal. Strategic. Very strategic. On the 20-sided, I did get a 5, and I also got a 5, wherever that is, here for your 6-sided. So you got a match. Um, it's totally something gets balanced out. All right, my lovelies. Let's get into the details because, whoo, that almost hurt my brain. A little bit about what this whole process is of letting go to make room for the new. So what is this that we're being given for advice? And we have she who flies, Polaris, dare, do, reach. So, you know, a bird really doesn't have any baggage. It's about being free. And it's getting away from attachments so that you're free. Interesting, Polaris. Let's understand where you're moving to. Where are you flying to? What is this energy you're embracing? Whoop. Sorry, my lovely. This was in the reverse. She who whispers, concisia, secrets, confessions, confidant. And this is over on this side. And you have got, my God, you've got Pertho, which is about secrets. Okay, look at that. So, secrets. She who whispers. Confessions. Hmm. You've got me intrigued. You've got me intrigued. All right, my lovelies. Let us continue. Let's see what we've got here. Hmm. <clears throat> This is your lone energy, and this is the freedom with Valeris. Let me understand. Let me see clearly, and thank you. Bird of a feather and secrets. So we're going to start off with this alone energy. You pulling your energy back. You got two. Yeah, you're in healing mode with the star and the emperor. What? Get out of town. Aquarius and Aries energy. Um, the star 
I feel like it's like your third chakra. Your I don't know. I'm feeling healing in this. Yeah, you're just basically pulled back in a form of healing. You're focusing your energy within, clearing your chakras, um, meditating, making sure that you're walking your your path, staying in your lane, and taking charge, I feel. Like embracing your power. There's that lady in that red dress. Keep seeing a lady in red. I don't know what that means. Might mean something. Might mean something to you. Let's dig a little deeper on this. I want to understand this flying, this taking charge, the single energy of healing. Like just being you and not letting anything deter you from what you... Okay. Ace of Cups in the reverse... Not not focusing inward, not putting love on yourself, ignoring yourself needs, ignoring red flags. You're being given red flag, red flag, red flag with that three of swords and that four of cups and the ace of cups in reverse. Somebody is not heeding the warning. And it might not be a warning. I don't understand that. What does that mean, not heeding the warning? Clarity, please, and thank you. Mercury on the board, third house, Gemini. Let me understand this, please, and thank you. The healing energy of the Emperor taking charge, but then we have the Ace of Cups in reverse. She who flies. The deck's in reverse. Okay, that's fine. We have five of cups, but I did get it in the reverse, regardless of how the deck sits, because that's how it came up. You're not investing into regret anymore. But you're projecting it. You're projecting a lot of regret about something. Your Ten of Pentacles, but I got it in the reverse. Something you once had your heart set on, like, did not go your way. You did not achieve something. You, you regret a decision, maybe? And you're trying to heal from that decision by recharging, yes, Clarity on the board, sun. We have that partial eclipse in the solar panel. Libra, something's getting rebalanced. Yeah, you've got Tawaz with the rune stone right there with the sun, which is your direct path going directly like goal oriented. I can feel this like Leo, a decision being made. And because you are releasing this regret, you're releasing this hold on what the outcome is. You're just doing it no matter what. Like I feel like I feel like there was something that you had your sight set on that didn't go your way. It could be a relationship, it could be business, it could be whatever. It's life, work, love. Um you got your mind set on it. It didn't happen the way you wanted, but you're taking the outcome and you're just taking charge. You've got this beautiful gift here. Let's look into that. I want to understand that gift a little better, my lovely. We're using the muse. Okay. So this is a treasure. Like I said, X marks the spot. Um, Gabo is the name of it. Night of inspiration. Something's about to be like in your face good. Like, boom. Boom gift from the universe just is right there and that's what gable means a gift from the universe and then you get this night of inspiration quick action of just doing and going and whoo 
I feel like there's quick, quick movement. Let me understand this movement, please. And thank you. And by the way, that gift was falling under this Capricornic energy, which can be material wealth. It's like trying to be manifested. It is in your highest path with that 10. Uh, King of Swords in the upright. Ooh, I couldn't hold him. Truth. Law. Law is making a decision. Like it could be the 5D law. We have something that anchors you very, very good in trust. Now, King of Swords is Taurus, Aquarius, Gemini, Capricorn, not Capricorn. What is it? What is it? Cancer. Sorry. Cancer energy. Let me understand what this is that anchors because that's good. An anchor is like stability, firmness. It's keeping things from being affected by the environment. You're anchored. We have the Six of Wands, something balancing out, and the Four of Wands, I said six of wands. I meant six of pentacles, something balancing out. Um, and then four of wands, which is absolutely like a marriage, a commitment. Something's very balanced out here and bringing in a very solid energy. That four of wands is your 11, 11 card. It's you talking directly to your higher self. Bringing yourself into balance, which brings your life in balance. Let's understand the growth in this Virgo energy on the 1111 board. And by the way, you can look for the comments pinned below. It's a little red 1111 tarot. That's how you know it's mine. And you can find out how you can get your hands on one of these beautiful 1111 boards. All right, my lovely growth. What is this? Woo, woo. Hot potato, hot potato, hot potato, hot potato. Nine of cups. Oh, my lovely. Oh, my golly. What is going on? Like the past broke your heart, but the future is about to be your start. You are totally game for this. This is beautiful energy. This is probably one of the best reads I have had in a while. With that gift and night of inspiration, Emperor, the star, oh my golly, she who flies, dare, do, reach, go after your dreams, my love, go after your dreams, and I do see that anchor is that Taurus energy, which aligns with the board, material world, something is a commitment, and it's even give and take, it's something you've wished for for a long time. All right, my lovely, let's go ahead and get a little bit more understanding of the secret. And remember, we have Rivo in reverse, as well as we have Pertho um, in the upright. So this is that hidden esoteric gift that of knowledge. It's a secret, like the box is getting open to reveal something. And then we have the secrets, confessions. And what does it say? I have to actually pick it up, my love. Confidant. Oh, Capitan, what shall we do? <laughs> Somebody knows something, and they're about to share it. You're going to get some secret. I know a secret. I don't, but we're going to. Let's see what this is. Four of Voices. Blessings. From above, Four of Swords is laying down your worries to rest. Laying it to rest. And letting the blessings come in. It's like she's getting bathed in that spiritual light. And what is that, a rose petal bath? Oh my gosh. I sense some romance. <laughs> and it doesn't have to be. It could be just blessings all around my love. Could be a vacation, a retreat, a secret place to go, your own little world. And look, you got the moon right above it on the roll of the die. So we are looking at the subconscious connection here of a secret. Huh. Did you figure out something? Let's see what this blessing is. Let's dig really deep. Oh, I got those cards. I don't want to. <laughs> 
Um, let's look into our ninth house on the board. It's philosophy. It's travel. It's also a viewing of your past. Introspection. All right, Jupiter, expansion on the board. Let's see what's going on with this beautiful secret gift. Ace of Pentacles, it's tangible. You can touch it. Whatever you can imagine in your hand, you can hold. Let's continue. Leo, House of Leo. Now, remember, you've got Leo in crossing your judicial balancing part of your life in Libra on the board. Here we got Leo, your fifth house, your eternal child, your ex true love. Bam! This is so, and it falls right next to the four of wands. And on top of that, you have anchor. Wow. Wow. And with Rytho in the reverse, it's like you are not... Looking back to the past. The past is not holding you back is what I'm picking up. Um, and then the secret falls right here on Aries. What does Aries know? What is this that Aries knows? Nine of Wands. Very protective of that secret. Protecting something brand new. Very blessed by the universe. I want to know more. What is the secret? Ancient, tiny, secret. Remember that commercial? How she got her clothes so white or something? Ten of Pentacle. It's everything. It is the house, the home, the life, the wife, the picket fence, the dog, the goldfish, the perfect car, the perfect life, the perfect job, happiness. Somebody's about to get that with this nine. And then you get the nine. Oh, my golly. Look at this. Five of Swords in the reverse. Somebody's not fighting this anymore. They're ready for this to come in. What is this Two of Cups? What is this beautiful Two of Cups? Self-love and higher self or... Whoa. What all was that? Oh my golly. Four of Ones, double tapped, commitment, marriage. Oh my God, there's communication. And it doesn't have to be marriage. It's commitment. It's taking something to... Oh, liar, cheater, thiefer on the board. How can you get that with the four of wands? Don't cheat yourself out. It might be something you think is a line for you that's not. Let me understand that better with the seven of swords, four of wands, and the communication of a liar, cheater, thiefer. I don't know, but it pisses you off and you walk away. You think that something's aligned with you. You get communication of a liar, cheater, thiefer, and you're like, I am so over it. I'm going for my own happiness, my own stability. Uh, what's the sun down here? What is the solo? Oh, solo. Sun, solo. Yeah, you got the seven of pentacles in reverse, not planting seeds with nobody. Let me understand, is this king cutting shit out, Ben? This is disappointing. Can't always have it the way we want. We've got to get the lesson because things are going to change and it's not going to be all roses out there. We've got to have the knowledge to be able to, it's the, oh my God, high priestess. Cutting stuff out. That's what that king of swords is about. Expecting things to align perfectly for yourself and making sure you're only investing in what is good for you. How did somebody break your heart? Oh my God, Ten of Swords, they did too. <clears throat> Is this a past energy? Is this a past energy that broke the heart? Tower moment. Something current. What is it? Justice getting served. What is this justice? Why is this tower moment justice? Oh my God, it's going to be a big tower moment. I just dropped the baby tarot. <clears throat> my throat chakra is getting clogged. Queen of Swords in the reverse. 
I don't like that. Oh, Queen of Wands in the reverse. Why? What is going on, y'all? Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Queen of Wands in reverse, which this was in the reverse. So two queens in the reverse. And on the bottom, the Queen of Cup in the upright. Three queens and one is in the upright. The feelings. Somebody can trust their feeling. Clarity will come in. This secret is very messy. I can't. I can't get it quite. There's too many complexities to this situation on a general read. There is a secret. It is going to... You saw the deck. You saw the tower. This secret comes out and it's like... Explosion of emotions could be why you've got Isa over here right above Scorpio energy. Who let me understand you walk in this tight path right to your north node. Two of emotions, two of cups, true love. Now, is that to our higher self or to someone? What is this? Somebody is watching you and you don't know it. And they have deep emotion to you. Who is this watching my 1111? Who's watching my 11s? This Knight of Pentacles. What does he want? What is this about? He want to work? You might have worked with this person or they want to work with you. Eight of Pentacle. Do my 11s know this person already? Oh my God, what? Two of Cups again, three times. Somebody you definitely feel aligned with. Is this somebody new? S plans. Strategy. Working together. Cooperating. Which makes you happy. I am so confused, y'all. I'm going to let y'all figure this one out. All right, let's continue. In cleansing, what is going on here? What did we get? Um, the Two of Cups with the Page of Voices. Somebody watching you that you feel strongly aligned with too. So you've got somebody's eye. What is this in cleansing? Could be work related or something. You have three cards for cleansing. Left you out in the cold. You felt left out in the cold, but judgment came in on that. And so the magician, you manifested something much better. So, your emotions of being left out in the cold basically caused you to sail forward and become even a better manifester in your life. It was meant to happen, so you don't want to hold judgment about being left out in the cold because, yes, judgment, yes, the manifester, Gemini energy on the board. Let me understand this magician. Oof. Six of Pentacle on the bottom. Temperance. There are. Oh, you got a star, right? So you start off with Scorpionic energy of this transformation of the Death card with this magician. Something that changed you. It's about this divine mixing of cups. There is two energies that are being alchemized together for some reason. And. We get the sun again. 
These are actual soul mates that are balanced out. That's why we're getting justice. And it brings in the lineage of stability on the foundation for the bloodline going forward. What is all this? Wow. And I keep getting royalty, red dress, royalty, king, red, red dress, red carpet. That's what it means. This is a royalty. Divine counterparts are coming together. Absolutely. Two true divines are coming together. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is a Scorpionic energy on the board with renewal? Two of Wands. They're stuck. They're stuck at this time frame. So it's a matter of divine timing with that Sagittarius energy on the board in temperance. So what is going to take this to get renewed? Unstuck? The death. Gives you a whole new perspective. Look at the major arcana. Look at this. The death. The scorpionic energy. Again, the transformation of this. Letting something full circle kill off. I, I know that sounded terrible. Full circle fade away. It, it just gets resolved. You get the stamp or whatever it is of approval. Somehow this closes. It comes to a, a proper legal close with the King of Swords. It could be court, right? You got the Four of Wands and the court card. It could be court. You get your freedom. But then it's like you go right into protecting that freedom. But look at this. You've got this death card. And this two of wands, and it's like you're done feeling stuck. You get an entire new feeling as you close off the pain. Ten of swords. So you're you're trumping that death, that ten of swords. Whew. And that is total betrayal. Somebody tro totally betrayed you. You get this whole new outlook when this is over, when the store closes. You're disconnecting. And then it looks like you go right into what is truly aligned for you. What is this hanged man? The strength card. And the self cup of love. Wow. You're in healing mode. You have stopped something. You see what you do want. And you're fully protected with the ten of swords. I'm sorry. Ten of, from the ten of swords. Yes. You did have the ten of swords. But... From, you're fully protected with the strength card. And it's because you're taking a self cup of love now. You had the ace of cups in reverse. And I feel like it should be in the reverse until you take this advice. And just hold back. Stay in your protective mode. Your nine of wands. And self-help. Don't take any steps forward towards any decisions at this time. I seriously feel that. I feel like the commitment needs to be to your higher self, and that's your true love, because you're facing yourself. It's just a total mirror of what you need to do to get to where you need to be, right? Let's get some clarity in the house of cancer, fourth house, your foundation. Yep, get over this. Let it go. This is purification on the board. You are being purified. This is being cleansed out of your energy. And until you have cleared your energy of this process, could even be legally, you are not going to be able to move forward in the most abundant way. Can you move forward and heal? Yes, but you've got to get out of your head and take charge of your life and quit worrying because you can be the emperor of your world. Look here. 88. Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. Focus on getting steady with yourself. And then you can just walk away with ease and go towards what is aligned for you. That stability, that king of pentacles stability. So, my lovely, I feel like you're going to be single for a hot foot. All right. I could walk the deck today, right? <laughs> I feel like you got Pisces energy around you. Um, a lot of it. I don't know why. I just do. Scorpios, I can feel that. I do feel Scorpionic energy a lot. All right, my lovely. I want some qualification, like I got stuck right there. At the Nine of Swords, what is this all about? The Chariot, you're going to win. You can quit fretting, my love. You're going to win. Absolutely. It's all about 
following that divine path, which is to us, you know, that arrow on the ruined stone, the hunter sticking to your goal, following your instinct. Look at you. Nine of Pentacles, solid as <laughs> solid as you can get. I don't want to say, I was going to say solid as a brick, whatever, but you know, the old saying, Knight of Wands, you know, I feel like you're going to just take some action in your life. I really do. Like you're going to be this Knight of Wands, you're going to be very electrical. Like you're going to come up with some good ideas and be a little bit more spontaneous and yeah, we got the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords. There might be a little rival. Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords. Ooh. A little bit of rival play. Somebody trying to horse race with you. You feel me? Are you kidding me? Another horse, Six of Wands. You'll have victory. Doesn't matter who the rival is. This is meant for you. Let's see what our center energy is of this read. Kind of gives us an overall perspective of the outcome as long as we accept the advice of the utmost high creator. Thank you so much and share that with us and thank you. You got us started. All right, my lovelies. Truth. You got a story. Like that mere reflection. Honesty. Trust. Oh, I said truth. It's trust. Remember, we've got anchor on trust on the board. So you're getting trust. Look, look, you're going to trust yourself. You are. Let's do today's affirmation. Are you ready? And then I'll show you your last card. Today's affirmation is, I believe in myself and I trust my own wisdom. I believe in myself and I trust my own wisdom. I believe in myself. And I trust my own wisdom. Trust my lovely outlaw. Look at that. Withdraw. And I have it in the reverse. I don't do these in the reverse. Withdraw. It's a foxy energy. It's like following your intuition. Knowing how to do what you got to do. And going on an adventure. And are you ready? Because we've got a few extra cards here. They were hidden. Ascension, shadow, and reclaim. Look at you. You are ascending with this eclipse. You sure are. This partial solar. You are absolutely ascending to your higher gifts. And you're doing the shadow work so that when you come out, you can help others. And you can see brighter, clearer. It's like you're slowly waking up. You know, we have to go through the baby steps of reclaiming our own energy step by step. Because the things that we marvel at that we can do. Can you imagine if we were back in the time of Atlantia, of Atlantis? You could probably do so many thousands of things. I mean, Tesla proved to us how much energy is natural and free. And yet we live in this world of making it so hard, right? When it could be so easy. Let's get the blessings, my love, and make it real easy because we're going to ask for divine help. Oh, solar, plexa, solar plexus chakra. It is safe for you to be powerful and take charge of your life in a positive way. Reclaim your power, my lovely. Can't make it up. Reclaim your power. Let's get a couple more. I want to get this withdraw and shadow. Here we go. This withdraw following your instinct. Your intuition, feeling what it is that you need to do, trusting your gut. It says cut your cord. There it is. Ooh, there it is. Ooh, there it is. Ask Archangel. Oops, sorry, y'all. Archangel Michael to clear any old attachments to fear that stem from past relationships, freeing you from the destructive patterns. I feel like we're all so trauma affected that we're the stray that got kicked to the curb and treated like garbage and everything. And we're scared to have like another person around us or, you know what I'm saying? Like we got hurt. So it's time to cut cords with that past feeling that we're doomed to make that same mistake and get locked into something. Yes. Past life issue. Yes. We got trapped too many times in the past and now we're gun shy. 
It says this situation has a basis in one of your previous lifetimes. Ask your angels to help you remember, release, learn, and heal from your past experiences. I love it. Shadow. Shadow work. Past life. Makes sense. I love you guys. Thank you so very, very much for sharing your time and energy with me. I hope that you will reciprocate the love and give the pup a little love too. I thank you again and I love y'all to the moon and back. God bless you. Namaste.